In 1989, a time when only about 3% of Americans owned a valid passport, Roger Lamb, a faithful disciple in his 40s, dreamed of how he could help spread the gospel of Christ worldwide. With perseverance and God's grace, Roger spoke in over 40 countries, digitally connected over 700 churches, and impacted the lives of tens of thousands. Today, we want to take a moment to honor his life as he passes the torch to the next generation. On September 3rd, 1947, Roger was born into a military family. His parents were also volunteer teachers in the local Church of Christ. He met his sweetheart, Marcia, during his first week in college. At the time, Roger wasn't known for his affection. They exchanged firm handshakes well before their first kiss. They married and have remained married for over 50 years. Shortly after college, Roger and Marcia began leading a Church of Christ in Charleston, Illinois. Roger dreamed of recreating the vibrant church that he saw in the book of Acts. But although his church doubled in size, he felt that something was missing. Then in 1976, he visited the Crossroads Church of Christ. Amazed at the evangelistic zeal, the deep relationships, and people of all races and nationalities, Roger realized that he needed to grow in his faith. He publicly apologized to his church and began pursuing Jesus with all his heart and soul. In 1983, Roger and Marcia led the mission team that planted the Champaign Church of Christ. Two years later, he co-led the diverse Chicago Church of Christ with Marty Fuquay. Church attendance grew from 400 to 1,500. This is when I first got to know Roger. Steve Staten says that whenever the church would host banquets, he never saw Roger line up for food. Instead, Roger would spend the evening fellowshipping. As Steve put it, he was the master of fellowship. Roger truly modeled an evangelistic life, reaching out to strangers in restaurants and on the streets. Roger was also a master connector. He made it his ambition to build relationships with other churches of Christ spread across the Midwest and Texas. Through his connections, many churches joined the fellowship and are still part of the International Churches of Christ today. In the 1990s, Roger became the editor for Discipleship and Upside Down magazines that share good news stories about our churches. He and a group of writers and editors also produced LA Story, which they shipped to every church worldwide. By 1994, he was the ICOC Director of Media and began leading KNN, a ministry focused on informing and inspiring disciples using video. Starting with the English and Spanish languages, KNN expanded to include filming in seven languages and subtitling in eight more. Roger directed the creation of dramatic videos, which were shown at church services and special events. Roger also spearheaded the first ICOC website as more and more people turned to the internet. 2003 marked a new era in our movement. KNN closed down, but Roger's dreams kept moving forward. He knew that with so much bad news, that it was more important than ever to continue the spread of good news. He gathered a small group of people and prayed to find God's direction. He and a team of volunteers founded Disciples Today with the same goals, to inform, inspire, and unify disciples around the world. There were times when it seemed the candle might go out, but through faith, prayer, and hard work, and the sacrifice of churches around the world, Disciples Today has published thousands of articles and videos and established the ICOC Church Locator, DT Heart and Soul, the DT Newsletter, DT Cruises, and so much more. Roger has also played a critical role in keeping our global leadership connected through consistent communication, serving as chairman of the service team, leading the communication service team, and building the ICOC leadership website. Roger and Marsha raised three children and have four grandchildren. Roger proved that even a grandfather can learn how to become proficient in smartphones, social media marketing, and SEO. But his journey was not without hardship. In the last six years, both his daughter and one of his sons passed away. Through the inexplicable pain, he remained faithful to God, continuing to demonstrate the deep-seated faith he's had throughout his life. In 2020, at age 73, Roger decided to retire. Under Roger's leadership, with the help of the Disciples Today board, 
as well as input from relationships throughout the ICOC. Justin Renton of Johannesburg, South Africa, became the clear replacement to continue Roger's vision and to lead Disciples Today higher. Roger's contribution to our movement will be felt for decades to come.